thank you uh, i truly be ubt student branch uh, for inviting me and uh, for arranging an amazing virtual summit and uh, congratulations to all the organizers all the collaborating branches the student branches for arranging a successful virtual summit so uh, this is jodhri atra mahmood working as a robotics instructor at punjab colleges lahore in pakistan and i am also former chairperson of ieee comsat university islamabad student branch uh, moreover uh, right currently i am serving as ieee psc sec pakistan uh, we know that the, we have very limited time and the students are already uh, it's already too late so i will not take uh, uh, more time so let's start the discussion here it is very important uh, please make sure the slides are visible yes sir it is visible okay thank you so it's it is very important to uh, discuss about industry 4.0 uh, if we talk about industry 1.0 revolution uh, at that time we have mechanical uh, engines steam engines powered and uh, looms and if we talk about industry 2.0 at that time we have mass production assembly line electrical engines energy and if we talk about industry 3.0 at that time we have automation computers and electronics but if we talk about industry 4.0 it's a bit different we have iot internet of things cloud computing advanced algorithms artificial intelligence automation robotics big data smart sensors predictive maintenance all these are very important and these and these all these technologies are playing a very important role in developing advanced robots right so uh, first of all uh, it's a very simple question and a very simple answer what is a robot a robot is an autonomous system which exists or interacts with the physical world and can sense think and act to achieve some goals right so there is another question what is robotics robotics and interdisciplinary field that sits at the crux of mechanical engineering electrical engineering and computer science robotics professionals not only apply their knowledge and skills from all three disciplines to develop robots but also study human factors to enable the adoption of robotic technologies in a wide variety of applications ranging from healthcare to manufacturing to exploration there are huge there are many uh, applications i will discuss inshallah so if we talk about uh, the uh, applications there are security space exploration entertainment agriculture healthcare underwater exploration food preparation manufacturing industrial automation military and customer services so there is a question uh, what are uh, what are the security applications and uh, uh, what are the space exploration and how robotics is working in security and all these aspects so uh let's uh, let's come to the point just a minute uh, is it visible right yes okay thank you thank you for example if we talk about industrial automation uh, there are arc welding spot welding materials handling machine trending painting packing assembly mechanical cutting grinding and all so uh, if uh, if we talk about a uh, particular arc welding one of the driving force of switching to robot welding is improving the safety of workers from arc burn so if we talk about spot welding spot welding joins two contacting metals surfaces by directing a large current through the spot if we talk about materials handling 
uh, material handling robots are utilized to move back and select products. They also can automate functions involved in transferring of part from one piece to of equipment to another. Direct labor costs are reduced. So these are the perks of uh, automation. If we talk about machine tending, robotic automation of machine tending is the process of loading and unloading raw materials into machinery as it's very difficult if we uh, if we hire some uh, persons sir, sorry to interrupt hire person. that, uh, sir have you changed your slide uh, no actually i have removed the slides because we have very limited time and uh, it's already too late the participants are leaving so i decided to reduce my slides i will just uh, uh, okay, sir. You can go on. The industries add it increases the quality and consistency of the product. So these are the perks. I don't want to go into the technical details of uh, these things. I just want to let you know about the applications of robotics. As I mentioned, security space exploration entertainment agriculture if we if we if we explore robotics it's it's all about uh, all about um, everywhere around us uh, the microwave we are using the refrigerator we are using at our homes um, uh, you can say uh, the air conditioner you are using at your homes uh, the, the automated cars there are so many things you are using and these are all robots so uh, if we talk about uh, the career of robotics, sorry, it's not about only for the electrical engineers, design engineer, software engineer, hardware engineer, user experience, data scientist, machine learning engineer, algorithm engineer. So it means uh, we need all type of engineers to develop these uh, to develop robots top seven careers in robotics robotics is a very interdisciplinary field and robots are tightly integrated systems actually so for this reason there's an array of neat careers that fall under the uh, you can say general umbrella of robotics each of which contributes to develop uh, development of autonomous machines you can say so if we talk about uh, specifically design engineer so the design engineer creates the visual looks for a robot they often stay by sketching schematics or figures of robots and they design different kind of robots the mechanical designs mechanical engineering team to ensure these plans are followed correctly during the development of robots right if we talk about software engineers uh, they are also playing a very vital role in robotics. Software engineers in robotics are a uh, change of developing the software that allows each machine to function basically. Uh, you know very well. Uh, they allows each machine to function. They work closely with the software designs and programmers to integrate, uh, you can say, new software with existing systems and typically remain involved without the robot's construction to ensure full functionality uh, to be achieved uh, if we have uh, um, if we have if we have goals to uh, achieve some particular goals and uh, we are designing a, a particular robot so the software engineer must work on these goals and uh, to achieve these goals right in robotics uh, you can say software engineers are also uh, tasked with staying up to date with changing technologies as well and uh, if we talk about the hardware engineer, uh, a hardware engineer is responsible for the computer hardware that uh, robots utilize to function, basically. They can have a hand in everything from, from prototyping and to development and then often tasked without overseeing the execution of a hardware build. Once a robot has been constructed, a hardware engineer may also pack it with testing and analyzes of the design system and lead the team in making any necessary changes for the improvement. So this is the basic working uh, of an hardware engineer in robotics field. 
and if we you uh, if we talk about uh, user experience ux designer uh, they are very popular nowadays uh, the work of a ux de designer uh, in uh, in a aspect of robotics uh, we consider integral but often underrepresented in the large robotics field when building a robot sometimes engineers can overlook what the user needs basically he explains identify that it's up to the ux designer to present this perspective in the development process because it's totally dependent dependent on the ux designer right so if we talk about data scientist uh, uh, as almost uh, robots run on data the work of data scientist is critical uh, within the robotics field why because these professionals are responsible for designing the data modeling processing and creating the algorithms and predictive models on which the data is gathering and interpreted they also analyze data set on which existing robots function make adjustments to collect process or storage systems and measure effectiveness in order to improve functionality of robots so data scientists are playing also a vital role in uh, making advanced robots so every every post has its own worth uh, if we talk about machine learning engineers uh, machine learning engineers are responsible for the automation of aspects of robotics uh, these professionals rely on data predictive analysis uh, in many cases they use advanced software to automate predictive models as a way of advancing the machine function and helping it from the experiences so machine learning engineers are often highly skilled in data science deep learning neural natural language processing and programming and more and more so everyone is playing their role very effectively and uh, if we talk about algorithm engineers you, you can understand very easily uh, in the scope of robotics and algorithm engineer main role is to research develop and then test the algorithm on which robot runs right these professionals work closely with the rest of development team to understand the desired functionality of the robot the identify and then integrate the data and then and they need to reach the that particular goals which are selected which are set by the uh, by the owner of uh, a company by the uh, by the person who is making the robot right so these are the uh, career uh, these are the careers in robotics and uh, uh, all those who are software engineers machine learning engineers algorithm engineers data scientists user experience wise ux designer, designers they can uh, they, they can uh, collaborate with each other and make amazing robots in the field of robotics right so um, it's very important uh, to uh, let me change the slide setting yourself up for a successful career in robotics uh, there are three things one develop the necessary skill set this is very and the most important thing the second thing is to obtain hands on experience which is also very important and the third one is earn a masters in robotics but it's not compulsory for some up to some extent you can say professionally looking uh, to work in the robotics field must obtain the unique skill set experience and advanced training required to these niche roles uh, if we talk about develop the necessary skill set what are these skill sets we need despite the trail skill set of each individual career path there's a common toolkit of practical and soft skills all advanced robotics professionals here and you can access it uh, the practical skills typically span the wide scope of mechanical engineering electrical engineering and computer sciences electronics as well so as such um, we can say he identifies that most robotics should be comfortable programming right 
and coding complex systems as well as building and working with the software and hardware ranging from different design sensors to actuators which detects the, the uh, which uh, perceives data from the environment and all right so uh, this is very important if we talk about uh, obtaining hands on experience this is uh, another important aspect so uh, these are uh, very important aspects of uh, setting yourself up to for a successful career in robotics. Uh, I'm not going into the technical details. There are many other uh, robotics uh, um, aspects like agriculture robots, humanoid robots. Um, there are so many applications and we, we are even using the robots um, in our daily life. So uh, it's a, it's a very vast topic, but I don't want to take more time because it's already too late. Uh, thank you for listening and bearing me quietly. Uh, if you have any question, please ask in the chat box. Thank you.